What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on Unison League once again and yes this is one of my videos that I uh, have been lagging on but I have a very good reason for that. Uh, my computer actually uh, crashed out, I guess it was my graphics card, um, it was a 560 Ti I believe, uh, Nvidia and it's a really old graphics card or pretty old uh, in comparison to the new graphics card so I got a 980 um, which is a pretty uh, good graphics card if I say so myself uh, it is not a 980 Ti but a 980 itself is, is pretty good I got it for a pretty good deal um, so that's what happened uh, I wasn't able to do anything um, until now this is my first video for a while so uh, let's get caught up on the Unison League guys uh, the Amateuretsu uh, had come along a while back whoa this is crazy um, and the new blue stacks is really crazily done. Uh, I don't know how, why it does this, but now it's like fully, full on, um, full screen, and before it wasn't. So I don't know how to work the blue stacks too. Um, but let's look at let's look at the first um, the first one here. Let's see attack adjustment. Da, da, da. Unison attack adjustment was incorrect. Blah blah. blah. Forget about that. Um, pretty much what you want to do uh, at this hey, point is do this boss rush right here. And for the boss rush, you want to do uh, the Jabberwock, uh, the first actual one, um, the eight AP. So I'm gonna just gonna close that out because that was just way too much for my eyes there. It was like this whole the whole screen. Um, but you go ahead and get into these quests, go to quests here, go to uh, boss rush and do the AAP. This is the one where you're going to farm a lot of plus items, so you're just going to want to spam this all day long for your pluses. Uh, that'll get your unison um, monsters all the way up, so to 198 if you've been trying to get into a really good guild uh, before RGB, um, so that you can get, you know, uh, 198 monsters for 30 cost monsters, say as Apollo, Alice, uh, Fceris, Amateretsu, Nyx, um, any of the raid monsters are, are all 30 costs. You want to plus those to 198, depending on what guild you want to go to and what guild strategy you have. Get those guys to 198, this is the best way to do it. If you're archers, 198, 198 all of your bows before you uh, 198 all of your Alice's. Definitely have one. 198 Alice on your um, archer and then have the rest of them 198 on your bows before you put any into your other monsters unless like your uh, guild is saying specifically hey man we're gonna be running Apollo's this RGB you need to get your RGB uh, Apollo 198 then obviously you would want to do that but uh, in general as an archer you want to go 198 all on your bows first and take 198 on 130 cost monster depending on which one is uh, most important to your guild but if you don't have a specific one that they're saying go do that to go ahead and just put it on your Alice. Uh, Alice is better than Argo because Argo does miss a lot if you didn't know. He misses a lot when you use him. So that is pretty much where we're at guys. Um, the spawn itself is a good spawn. I do not have enough gems to do it at the moment, but I probably will be doing this at least once because it is one guaranteed SSR defense gear, which is very good. Uh, these are 28 uh, costs here, but um, I do want a SSR 28 cost armor or helmet so I can put it in, uh, infuse it to my reflects um, ones. But yeah, uh, this is pretty good for soldiers, very very good for soldiers because it's a defense uh, up. If I was going to pick one for a soldier, I'd probably go for armors because armors actually give you more than helms uh, in terms of st raw stats. Uh, the procs are usually the same for armors and helmets, but for raw stats uh, you will actually have more defense and magic defense coming from an armor than a helmet as a soldier. Okay. Um, Colosseum spawn, this doesn't actually give you Valkyrie gear, it's not a Valkyrie spawn, so you're really just only uh, praying for these Valkyries here, uh, which is not the best thing to be going for, and uh, it is a 5 gem spawn, so I probably wouldn't really recommend that.
in terms of this spawn this uh the new rare gear here it's actually pretty good um because it is a 28 co cost helmet and a uh 28 cost armor as well they're both armor and helmets right so the female and male version are both uh, armor and helmet so very good for a, a paladin the, also what's very good about it is there are both reflect skills and they can also be infused because they're level they're uh, 28 cost here into any highest armors so if you get a bunch of duplicates of this you can infuse it to itself or if you have a bunch of duplicates of this you can also infuse it into like valk armors uh you can infuse it into the new year's armors the ones those purple armors uh which are really good um you know pretty much anything right now because it's the highest cost so this is actually a pretty good uh thing to do uh if you have you know if you have new uh the new armor boosted rates that's pretty good so yeah that's pretty much how it goes um the amateuretsu i think it, yeah it's already i mean obviously it's already been there before uh and it's over right now the amateuretsu is over so it's just boss rush uh but yeah so you'd want to definitely do this as much as you possibly can for the pluses so that's pretty much where we're at right now guys um coliseum uh i don't do too much coliseum because i don't really like the rewards but i do do it a little bit because uh what i'm actually doing is saving the coliseum medals for uh later when the rewards are updated if they're ever updated so that's pretty much where, where uh what we're doing so yeah guys um that's pretty much it for this video i am going to be actually streaming on twitch uh, you can follow me at rg and hd so twitch.com slash rg and hd that's where i'm going to be at on my channel um that is my username rg in hd just like uh over here on youtube uh, I'm actually going to be streaming Black Desert. If you guys haven't heard uh, about that, it is actually a MMO. Um, very, it's actually the same makers of C9. If you've ever seen that, um, it's just going to be like a PvP-based MMO game where you're free roaming around the world, killing people PVE, and there's like you control nodes and all this really cool stuff that you can check out. So I will be doing Unison League and Black Desert on this YouTube channel, and I will be streaming uh, specifically Black Desert because I have been waiting for a really cool MMO to come out, uh, and I think this is it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I'm doing, and definitely check out the Black Desert coming up. Uh, I will be streaming the next... Um, the Well, I, I'll be posting the next rgb event uh for sure this time um my guild prevented me from posting the rgb last time because they said that it would give away too much strategies that we are already still using or stuff like that but i will be posting all the rgbs in a row um because yeah i'm just gonna do it for sure this time no matter what so that's how that's gonna go um i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely like comment and subscribe as always and thank you for watching take it easy Peace.